escape from Rome. The city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The weapon appears to be attacking indiscriminately. The city is burning. It's... it's unbelievable. It's like something from out of a movie. If you've watched Evangelion, Gundam Wing, hell, even Power Rangers, you may think you know what you're looking at right now. A typical scenario in sci-fi, giant robots using the mega metropolis of Tokyo as their own personal boxing ring, shooting missiles and falling on top of towering skyscrapers, causing havoc and destruction while citizens run around and scream cheesy lines. These characteristics of a sci-fi drama are certainly ever-present in Robot Alchemic Drive, developed by Sandlot and published by Enix, the creator of the successful RPG series known as Dragon Quest. Thanks to Paul in California for his contribution to the underwater base. Enemy energy output down. We confirm the attack is effective. It's working! Chairman, keep going! I love it when games successfully incorporate anime elements into their framework, and you can definitely tell if you've followed me enough. This game pays homage to an old school mecha anime series known as Super Robot that was popular in the 70s and 80s, and it's worth noting that character design of R.A.D. is thanks to the creative prowess of Toshihiro Kawamoto, whose artistic abilities have been lent to countless anime series like Cowboy Bebop, the many installments of Mobile Suit Gundam, and Full Metal Alchemist. This game has a unique and innovative approach to how you control the movement and attacks of 70-ton mega robots called Mega Knights that are controlled by one of three 17-year-old high school kids. Yes, the fate of the Earth is, once again, dependent on the actions of kids who would instead be studying for exam hell or awkwardly trying to ask out that new girl in the classroom. You know, the one with high socks, pretty skirt, and pigtails. That one. So anyway, humanity is faced with two problems. One, there are big evil robots called Volgara that are invading the planet capable of trampling entire cities to dust. Two, a creatively named material called Space Nectar is affecting space travel, since it destroys all organic material leaving the Earth's atmosphere. Now humanity is not affected by it while on Earth, but as long as the syrupy space mess exists, there's no way that the human race can spread their filth on other planets. So it's up to Naoto, Yui, and Ryo Tsukioka teenagers one and all, to stop the Volgara from crushing the human race, and they do it with a little bit of guts and... a remote control? That's right, a remote control! You'll be taking your Mega Knight for a spin against the destructive Volgara forces that are hell-bent on stomping buildings and screaming Tokyo citizens flat, thanks to some scientific ingenuity that puts the motion of your robot literally into your own hands. Here's where the fun begins and where the control mechanism is activated. You alternate between the R1 and L1 buttons to walk, turn with a combination of corresponding shoulder buttons, and control your arms with the sticks, much like a Fight Night style of hand-to-hand -hand combat. If this sounds complicated, it truly isn't. I found it to be a very effective style of using all that your Mega Knight has to offer, including alternate weapons like drills that go in place of your hands, and battle stances that will multiply your power, helping you crush your enemies. As the game progresses, the dialogue gets cheesier and the plot a little thicker. So if watching vintage robot anime is your thing, you know that you can compromise the contrived lines and bad dubbing for hardcore mecha action that, frankly, is winning me over rather quickly. There, I said it. 